everyone! I'm here in Montreal and we're going to do a quick interview with a brand new vegan and her name is Sarah. And uh, how long have you been vegan, Sarah? So I've been vegan for two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks, so really fresh, fresh, hot off the press vegan. <laughs> yeah. And what made you decide to be vegan? Um, well, two weeks ago, that vegan couple, these YouTubers that I watch, came to Montreal and um, did like a workshop kind of thing. And right. like, at Vegan Rapid. Yeah, exactly, yeah. at Vegan Rapid. And prior to that, I was like re really watching their videos, and the girl, Natasha, like she would do like outreach at um, these things called Cubes of Truth. So I was like listening to her words, and I really started to get it because, like, before I was a vegetarian and I was pescatarian too before that and um, I feel like back then I viewed animals in a certain way and like watching her like view on them like changed my mind and then I was like okay well this is the truth so then I, I must act accordingly okay yeah. right and so what I'm really curious about is like what are the clicks that took place to get there so you became vegetarian yeah. already before that for how many years one year for one year okay. and then I went back and to eating meat and then I went pescatarian and then I went okay yeah so it, it is really mm -hmm. kind of like one of these like whoop right yeah and and you've been with the same partner now for two years yeah two years okay and she's vegan yeah she's right. been vegan for the two so years. how was that was she <laughs> was she like you know on your case yeah. like why are you or is she like super chill like you do what you want and <laughs> no. i love you anyway like, uh, uh, how was that it was like pretty rough we would have a lot of fights about it because <laughs> like she got it and so and i didn't at all so she would like try to like tell me about it and i would just like get very defensive right um yeah so and, do you think because i this is what what I think. Do you know who Gary Urofsky is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I've, I've like so, been watching all this. Right. Videos. So Gary Urofsky really uh, tried really hard with his own family to get them to change and wasn't mm -hmm. able to, right? Yeah. Do you think that because the vegan couple that came and it was a, a workshop and they weren't part of your family. Now, I know you guys like aren't married, but you know when you're with somebody for 2 years and they're on your case, you often sort of like you kind of like I don't know, it's like yeah. an ego thing or you just sort of dismiss them. Like why do you why did this particular thing make you change? And was there anything that they said that you just went, Oh my god, like I just have to change and now I gotta tell my girlfriend <laughs> and now she's gonna be like, I told you to do this like two years ago That's exactly or whatever. Okay, so <laughs> Yeah. So how did you like what what was it when you were sitting there listening to that that made you like change um because like for me i'm really the kind of person who like needs to come to something by themselves and if other people are pressuring me i just get like very um oppositional okay so i try to do the opposite for absolutely no reason just to like feel my own like sense of freedom so like when i was listening to them i was like okay i came to these videos by myself like sophia didn't tell me to like go watch this so then i felt like more confident in that and um so do you do you don't you find yeah. that really interesting right because mm -hmm. now that you've you're on the other side what i've noticed is the big challenge now is that is to try to remember who you were right yeah so you you remember how patient people were with you how, how <laughs> patient your girlfriend was because as soon as you get it you're just like okay yeah. now i get it <laughs> and the whole world should change but we forget how yeah. long it took us to get it like really i have that theory that it's a hundred clicks yeah you know it's not just oh i woke up one day and i was vegan in no way like you saw a recipe you saw a pamphlet you heard your girlfriend telling you she put soy milk in the fridge or whatever right mm -hmm. so uh, how are you feeling with oh, uh with God. with people that now that you got it well, I feel like every day it's like a back and forth because I'm talking to my friends and they just like say things to piss me off and I'm like, oh my god, they're such horrible people, I'm cutting them out of my life, <laughs> like that's it. And then I'm like, wait, wait a like, second, she, my girlfriend didn't <laughs> cut me yeah. out of her life. Hmm. So like in my head, I just keep telling myself to be as patient as she was with me. Like, that's what I have to do. Like, okay, and so she had been vegan actually for one year is that right two years. Two, two yeah. years and you but you've been together two years yeah so she was vegan like right after you met yeah okay so 
what you're telling me, Sarah, is that you're going to be so patient with people for two years. So that means your mom and yeah. your dad and every single friend. So yeah. you're not going to cut anyone out, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's, I'm just giving them two years. <laughs> yeah, two years, that's it. Yeah, you're cut out. I know, because that's a very interesting conversation I find is, what is the time limit that you'll give somebody? Yeah. Because, I, you know... You can understand if somebody doesn't get it, and then you give them the information, and then you're patient, and you back off, and you give it again, and you back off. But is there a time limit? Because for you, it was two years. Maybe someone else, it's one, and maybe somebody else, they need, like, five years. Is that, like, just too long? That's just too many animals that are killed? Um, what do you think? I feel, for me, like, I could sense if the person is, like, empathetic or if they're coming from a selfish place. Like, I talk to a lot of people about, like, my veganism, and I have friends that are not vegan, but they're like, yeah, like, that's the right thing to do. I wish that I could do it, too. Like, you know, and then I'm like, oh, okay, this person has, like, empathy. Whereas the other people, I talk to them, and they're, they just show that they don't care at all so with those people I'm like okay like your time is like running <laughs> short <laughs> right right but then you have to wonder like why do they have no empathy like do you think people are just born without empathy or do you think they maybe had a really bad childhood and then you know they they just need more nurturing and love I mean this is this is the tough question I think that we we have to always look at yeah I you definitely know? think it's socialization and like right. so many aspects like their family their their gender too right. they, like play into and is your family understanding at this moment yeah like my family is great my well my parents are both pescatarian but they call themselves vegetarian but I'm gonna like work on them <laughs> okay and <laughs> to, like they get it is it for health for them? That they, yeah. No, for or ethics. It's yeah. for ethics. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pescatarian, for people who don't know, what does that mean that your parents eat? What animal product? So it's like vegetarian plus fish. So okay. eggs. Um, my I was actually talking and to my dad. Yeah, and eggs. Yeah. Eggs, dairy, and fish, and then like everything else, like okay. plant-based. So they don't... Okay, so, so you're going to try to convince your parents that fish are sentient, that they have feelings that they yeah. they don't want to die and all that stuff yeah, and you're exactly. going to be patient for two years <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good luck with that yeah i think no we'll get that's it, good because like today i was talking on the phone with my dad and he was like yeah i think i'm gonna like quit dairy and then i was like let me just explain like what happens in the dairy industry because he didn't know like right. i was like do you know how milk is made he's like yeah i know like the process i'm like no but do you know what happens to like the cow and he's like no so i took five minutes and i'm like okay like this happens and he's like okay that's it that's it i'm done he just okay. said that's it i'm done and i was like oh wow like that's great that's really mm -hmm. great yeah. wow that's amazing yeah all right well thanks a lot for coming and talking with me i would love for you to come again because i feel like we could like i want an update i want to see how it's going in a month or two mm -hmm. yeah. and how you're feeling and you you have i, I know uh you're also an activist i know i i saw you at the itr lab in Durfe where they do animal testing that was a really sad time mm -hmm. and uh, i'm sure we can maybe talk about that somewhere after yeah. another interview but that's okay yeah cool Thank all right you. bye Thank <laughs> you.